Glasgow. It's a city of contrast. With a population of nearly 600,000 people, Glasgow has a wide variety of different personalities. Some bold and out there, and others timid and quiet, but there are also those with personalities we start to forget about. Those people are the homeless. I wanted to meet people from different organisations who help the homeless in Glasgow and find out what is being done to help ease the struggle. My name's Dennis Kern. I work for Lawson Fishes Charity. It's a voluntary charity, totally dependent on people's goodwill, and I'm the chairman. And my name's Ron Senior. I'm the service manager at William Hunter House here in Glasgow. It's a life house providing accommodation to people who have experienced homelessness. Uh, it's run by the Salvation Army, um, one of the largest providers of uh, homeless accommodation, homeless services in the UK. Also, um, you know, a very prominent charity. Uh, worldwide as well. Well, when I started in 1992, it was a, we worked off a van, worked off the side of a van, and we started off in West Campbell Street, giving people soup, tea, coffee, sandwiches. We've got um, a number of direct access homeless um, units where homeless people can come and get a bed for the night, um, stay for a few weeks and get uh, help with housing, get help with um, health care, etc. According to the Glasgow Homeless Network, homelessness has reached a worrying level. Figures showed that a minimum of 560 people slept rough in 2014. But what is being done? And what is the cause of homelessness? No, no, it's been done. Nowhere near enough as far as I'm concerned. First of all, being homeless is not the problem. That's the consequences of the problem. I would think lack of money. People don't have money to buy a place or rent a place to live. Maybe also young people who are coming from abused backgrounds. The lack of support maybe from your family or like you don't have any money. So maybe like you don't actually talk to your families. It could be lots of factors, poverty, addictions, um, yeah, uh, just general problems with, with society, I suppose. Yeah, lots of. I'm Sean Burns, I became homeless uh, when I came out of care, um, went into hostels, uh, moved in with my girlfriend, moved in with my girlfriend, fell out with her and basically became living on the street. They've shut a lot of the big hostels down that used to hold quite a few bodies and they've not made any new ones available. So it's sort of made beds limited, which has made it harder for people to get into places, which has therefore made pe more people homeless on the street. They're no all failures. You get your failures. You get your failures in life with normal people. And they're normal people. They're decent at the other end of the track and they're the forgotten ones, you know. Go like that and say to somebody, there's a house. And I've been to a lot of these houses. And believe me, in a hundred percent honesty, the RSPCA would not have allowed you to put a dog in these houses that people are going to. And it's not right. As long as we've got policies that exist now, you're going to see a rise in homelessness. It's actually back in the increase at the moment, according to Shelter. There's an increase back again. According to Shelter in 2014, 36,457 households made homeless applications to their local council in Scotland. This is an 8% increase than in 2013. The food banks are more things that you would need to cook and stuff. I don't have facilities where I can cook stuff, so that sort of doesn't help me. But Whereas like obs and fishies, wayside, mission, things like that, they do rolls and sausages, sandwiches, soup, things like that, so that, that, that helps us. The way people look at you and treat you sometimes can be quite difficult. And I was sitting at the Crimfeen begging and a gentleman came over uh, out the blue and handed me a uh, pile of notes, basically £250, and told me to go and get a few nights in a hotel. Uh, that was just sort of the biggest act of kindness. That, somebody's shown me. Although homelessness is a serious issue in society, there are positives that come from it. 
Helping people who are in difficult situations can be rewarding, and that's all we can do, is to try our best. I mean, every, every day sees, sees new successes. Um, a number of the people that we work with have experienced multiple traumas, addictions, um, you know, family, family breakdown. We see people being reunited with family members, reconciled with them. We see people remaining in abstinence from drugs or alcohol. We see people moving into, into new tenancies. Um, a number of our staff are former residents of this, of this service who've you know, been through the program, um, got, got their lives back on track and come back to help out. So yeah, there's, there's great, that's one of the great rewards of working, of working um, in this field is that you see people making huge progress, overcoming enormous obstacles. Now we're trying to do is bring a wee bit back in and they say they like come to Lords and Fishes because they're made welcome. And does that know what life's about? To welcome somebody and give them a wee bit of happiness for an hour, an hour and a half. That's not much to ask.